Happy World Carnivorous Plant Day. I'm Taylor Jones with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service and what better place to celebrate carnivorous plants than to come right where they are native. We are just outside 20 miles from Wilmington, North Carolina here in the Green Swamp Preserve checking out the native carnivorous plants. There are over 30 species of carnivorous plants including pitcher plants, our uh, elusive Venus flytrap, sundews, bladderworts, butterworts, all within this area and some only grow wild in this area. One of the species that is endemic to this area is the pitcher plant. Now this pitcher plant as you can see is in full flower. With this flower it's really interesting and this sort of goes along with most of our carnivorous plants is the flower juts way above the foliage here because these plants still need to be pollinated and of course they don't want to ingest their pollinators so they shoot their flowers way up that way the pollinators can come by they're not in any harm of either the pitchers on this pitcher plant or even a uh, trap door leaf on a venus fly trap so you can see that that is uh, standing nice and tall and ready to be pollinated of course we have our pitcher foliage here down here ready to scoop up the next snack for this plant because these plants are grown in areas that have really poor soil nutrients and things like that they have adapted to where they can get some of those nutrients from insects there's several different species of carnivorous plants in this area so let's take a look at a few others the infamous venus flytrap these incredible little plants are only native to a very small area around Wilmington, North Carolina. Although they are in production and cultured and grown from seed worldwide, we are right here in their native habitat. Uh, these are plants that are really adaptable they come from very sandy damp soils um, very close to wetlands in their natural area they also are surrounded by pine trees and forests and other plants but what is unique about these particular this particular species of plants is that they are adaptable thanks to fire controlled fire because if not these pine forests would be grown up with shrubs and other larger plants that would shade out these tiny, tiny carnivorous plants. Now, of course, with our Venus flytrap, they have some very unique characteristics. One being these two modified leaves that come together to form the trap door that will trap this plant's prey of insects and spiders. So as you can see with this Venus flytrap, we have this nice mature foliage. These leaves are actually modified, of course, to make their trap door operate when some of the fine sensory hairs inside of the trap are touched by a insect or a spider. Uh, they then snap shut and what will happen is that this Venus flytrap will take about a week or two to fully engulf and digest that insect and then it will open back up and prepare again for another feast to come its way. Now of course there are a couple different kinds of pitcher plants here on the coast of North Carolina one being this kind of pitcher plant a relative of the hooded pitcher plant now if you'll notice these are young leaves that have yet to open here but once they do they'll open and they'll have an elongated foliage that will fill up with water it'll attract insects inside and it'll catch those and digest storage so further along on our trail in the green swamp preserve we have come across these open hooded pitcher plants. Aren't those just gorgeous? Where else in the world, but right here on the coast of North Carolina, can you find such cool plants? Again, you can see they open at the top. They're gonna fill with water, liquid, 
The insects will get trapped inside. There's little fine hairs along the inner side of this tube that make it super easy for the insect to go in, but it's extremely difficult for the insect to come out. And that's how they catch and then they will digest their prey. You can see the bit of a hood here. This will keep the pitcher from overflowing with water. And that is a extremely cool wild native carnivorous plant. It's not a surprise that gardeners, educators, and scientists are fascinated by these unique plants. The International Carnivorous Plant Society, or ICPS, not only love these plants, but welcomes growers just getting started all the way through professional scientists. The ICPS even started an annual World Carnivorous Plant Day to celebrate them. The free online event is held the first Wednesday of May. Take a look around our website and you'll find historic documents about carnivorous plants, growing guides, free educational resources, and more. Have questions? Ask. We don't bite, but our plants do.